We have the Volunteer of the Year Award from the Idaho State Hospital Association, Barbara Bull, and Charlotte Mohan is here to introduce her. Thank you, Sue. Uh, on this day after Labor Day, <clears throat> when we acknowledge the men and women who work hard for a living, we should also remember men and women who freely volunteer their time and talents to fill the gaps in our society. Uh, thanks to the invitation by Sue Scott, I get to tell you about my friend Barbara Bull and her long record of volunteer activities, which have made Moscow a better place. Her contributions were acknowledged this summer when it was announced that she won the Volunteer of the, Award, the, Volunteer of the Year Award from the Idaho State Hospital Association, having been nominated by the Gritman Auxiliary. She will be honored next month in Sun Valley at the association's meeting. Her contributions to Gritman Medical Center go back almost 40 years. For 20 of those years, she was also an employee where she was a medical technologist, <clears throat> serving at times as interim director of the lab. Her volunteer activities include serving three years as auxiliary president, chairing any number of committees, such as the wine tasting party, the memorial committee, and the gift shop. Barbara reinvigorated the junior volunteer program in 1973 when it was languishing. Currently, she is the liaison member to the Gritman Foundation Board. Barbara grew up in Denver, Colorado, graduated from Colorado State with a degree in microbiology, and came to Moscow in 1967 from Corvallis, Oregon, with her husband, Dick. They have two children and four grandchildren, one of whom is a freshman at the U of I this year. Barbara's involvement in the community is shared with her husband, Dick. Together, they tirelessly put their energies into the Chamber of Commerce and Vandal Athletics. Dick and Barbara are the best friends that the University of Idaho has ever had, and they're not even alumni. They are volunteer statisticians for the football games and support all, all of the athletic events. Barbara advocates for student-athletes as a member of the Pen President's Athletic Advisory Council, and she and Dick further that commitment in a personal way by developing parental relationships with many athletes. In addition, she is a strong supporter of women's education. Barbara advises the Delta 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 sorority at both U of I and WSU, has served on the Tri-Delta National Council for six years, and is a leader in a national organization that encourages women to seek higher education. She and Dick are active members of the First United Methodist Church, where no task is too big or too small for them to tackle. Barbara is a volunteer who sees a problem or offer opportunity and looks for a way to help. She is a very capable, intelligent woman who is clear-headed and thoughtful stepping into leadership positions when she feels she has something to offer. In any situation, she is the one who will say, now wait a minute, is this what we really want to do? Does this make sense? Let's think this through. She is an asset to our community. I came across yesterday uh, a quote from Jonas Salk, the reward for work well done is the opportunity to do more. Barbara and Dick have done and will continue to serve where they are needed. I present Barbara Bull. <laughs> Goodness, she makes me sound really good, doesn't she? <laughs> I was so honored when the Gritman Auxiliary chose me uh, as their nominee for this Love Award, Leader of Volunteer Excellence. And that in itself was quite an honor. I was overwhelmed when uh, someone from the Idaho Hospital Association came to Gritman in June to say that they had chosen me to represent the state. Um, it's it's humbling, and um, I'm quite amazed, especially listening to Charlotte 
read my list, so to speak, and it's somewhat embarrassing to have all the the fuss that's been made over me uh, because of this uh, recent award. But at the same time, it gives me a chance to promote what is truly a passion for me, and that is volunteerism, especially in our community. Um, as you've heard, I've been involved in a lot of things over the years, and I can't imagine my life without these uh, volunteer activities. It would be so boring. We rarely wake up in the morning and say, gee, what can we do today? Because there's so many things to do. I've always said I'll be late to my own funeral because I'll have one last meeting to go to before uh, I can finish. <coughs> Uh, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> but there's such a satisfaction in being a volunteer. Um, certainly just the rewards of knowing that you've done something good. Um, helping to make Moscow a better place. Most of my volunteerism has been in something involving uh, Moscow. And uh, to realize that you've had a positive influence on a young person. I, you'll note that a lot of my activities involved college students. And um, that is just when, they, when you see them come from that squirrely sophomore up to a mature <coughs> senior ready to go out in the world, you think, wow, maybe I had a part in that. And that, you know, sometimes you tear your hair, but it's worth it because that is a significant thing. And also volunteerism gives you a chance to learn new things. A new project that Dick and I have gotten involved in uh, recently is helping uh, at the vet school in Pullman, helping with the um, second year vet students where we, we are, um, pretend we are bringing our animal to the vet with uh, whatever crisis has happened, and then they not only have to try to diagnose, but they have to, to it gives them experience in dealing with um, the client. And so because in that profession particularly, they're treating not only the animal, but the owner. And um, that has, has been challenging, but very exciting. And Nancy's husband has been one of the veterinary coaches at some of those sessions. And, Again, a whole new experience that we gained from it and uh, think of it's a real benefit to us, but in a, at the same time benefiting those students. Everybody has time to volunteer. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and how you choose to spend your 24 hours is up to you. Obviously, you all are uh, excellent examples of volunteerism as you, as you give to our city. And even when I was working at Gritman those 20 years, I, I almost approached it as my volunteer job as well. Sure, they paid me, but, but um, I did it more with a volunteer attitude, I guess, without even thinking about it. And when I stopped working in the lab, I continued on as a volunteer. Um, and so I never stopped that relationship with Gritman, which is the best place to be a volunteer. <laughs> I, it's... That is, your Gritman feels that the volunteers are just part of the volunteer, uh, the whole Gritman family, and <clears throat> everybody from the administrator through all the different sections of that hospital, throughout the the uh, volunteer base, we uh, we're all one for one particular cause. So, by all means, I urge everybody to volunteer. And Barbara, thank you so much. And this is sort of my segue, because isn't it October 18th that we have our uh, boards and commissions fair? I think so. Service to commissions. Service okay. to commissions, yeah, where we have opportunities for many other people to volunteer. To volunteer. Yeah. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. So thank now, you for having us.